are suspect with his family near their house. Good day to you, madam. Good day, sir. I'm here to see your son. Jeremiah? He's not at home now. Might I ask you a few questions about him? Perhaps we could speak inside. I don't know who you are, sir, but I'll have to ask you to leave right away. She won't speak with a stranger. My name is Sherlock Holmes. It is my business to know what other people don't know. First, I should speak with Wiggins. He's always on Baker Street. The game is afoot. Not a word. Into your clothes. Wiggins! An exorcism. Protocol 2.5 on Lambeth Street. Yeah, you can count on us, Gov. We're ready, Gov. Someone close the door. I should find a way to attract the attention of Jeremiah's mother. School. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself. It tends only to evil. Thank you, Father. You are so kind. Those brats are always causing trouble. Now, where are my manners? Uh, may I offer you a cup of tea as a small thank you? I don't know if... Oh, God bless you, sister. My name is Margaret Thorne. It is an honour that God sent you to me. You appear grieved, sister. Is it because of those children? Oh, no. It is my son, Jeremiah. I fear that he is doing bad things, Father. How bad? I don't know. He has just become nervous and angry and rude. And he used to be such a nice boy. These days he won't spend any time at all with us. Not even with Janet, his younger sister. He hides himself away inside his room and locks the door. And he won't open it for anyone. And where is your son? I don't know where he is. 
He hasn't come back from last night. I'm so worried. Perhaps his absence is connected with his job. Where does he work? I don't know if he has a job, Father. I've asked him several times, but he just gets angry and won't speak. Perhaps Jeremiah is being poorly influenced by his friends. I wouldn't know. He never mentions any friends. I am afraid that he could be possessed by the devil himself. He's changed so drastically lately. He won't tell me anything and he flies into rages and shouts at me. I don't know what to do. Don't distress yourself, sister. You were right to confess. Truly, I... I can feel an evil presence in this apartment. Oh, God! Allow me to search for the demon in this house. God bless you, Father. Bookcase and books! Possessed wood and words! Expel your literary demons! Ah! Fire and flames! Better for crumpets than foul-toothed demons! Be gone and bring peace! <laughs> Oh, Holy Spirit, save your pans from demons and poor ah! musicianship! Window! Window frame! I uh, must protect you from demonic pain! Ah! Pain! Ah! Demon! <gasps> Unholy Vandal! Sister, you saw that the demon has taken shelter in Jeremiah's room. I should go there alone. God save us. Sister, wait for me outside. This fight will be a fierce one. God help us. I'll do what you say. One of the solenoids for creating a bomb. This is probably Janet, Jeremiah's sister. A schematic for a homemade bomb. This is evidence enough to put Jeremiah behind bars. It looks as though this letter was torn up in rage. I should reassemble the fragments to read what was written. It appears that Jeremiah received a threatening letter from somebody known as the Dart. The Dart. He was at the centre of a notorious case from 1888. Does he plan to escape from London? It's over. The demon is defeated. Oh, thank you. Bless you, Father. Now, pray for Jeremiah's soul and give thanks, sister. Goodbye. Lord be praised. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>